Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how we add cameras to a, an already existing camera setup and I will show you how to locate these cameras on the network especially when your NVR only has say 8 ports and you're using a power over Ethernet switch. So I just want to add these three cameras to my network. I've got one, two, three and the product is the Hua and I'm going to demonstrate how to solve this problem. Right, this is the setup. I have the Dahua NVR here. It is a 16 channel, but there are only 8 power over Ethernet ports there. Thus, if you want to use the full capacity capability of this Dahua NVR, you will need a PoE switch, which is here on top. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to locate these cameras once they are connected to the PoE switch. So I'm connecting these uh, three new cameras which I want to add to my network. Now obviously the other cameras that are connected to the PoE, I've already done this. So I just thought, well, hang on, it wasn't that straightforward, let me make a YouTube video. So there you can see I've added three more cameras, the network cameras, this is a camera uh, video for IP cameras, to this setup just to demonstrate how it's connected. On the Dahua NVR, we've got an Ethernet cable from the main LAN connector which must connect to the PoE. Otherwise, the PoE cameras will not be able to send their data to the, um, NV the NVR. Okay, and then here are the directly connected cameras. Now, this these cameras don't have a problem. You can plug them straight in and it works. But when you plug these cameras into the PoE switch, it has a problem with IP address configuration. And I'm going to demonstrate how to solve that problem. Right, now that the cameras are connected to the power over Ethernet switch, we need to link those cameras to the uh, NVR. Now, if you go uh, to do this, you can do it using Smart PSS or you can do it using the web browser, the web login. Now, for example, I have the web browser here and I do a device search. Now, what happens is the cameras do not come up. They just don't come up. These are cameras that are already on the system and they don't come up. Even if you add all these cameras, uh, then you, you still won't see it in the, in the playback. They just don't come up. And the reason is, is that when the cameras are connected to the PoE, the Power of Ethernet switch, they often have a different IP address and therefore the NVR cannot see them. So if we look, go look at Smart PSS, it's the same story. For example, um, let's have a look here. Here we can do the search. And these are the devices that are currently on the network. And you can see there's, there's a few devices here. There's more is I've already done this activity. So they have been, these IP addresses have been changed in the range that the NVR can see. So what happens is we now need to manually go and change the, those new cameras that I showed in the beginning of the video to the, within the range that the NVR is set to. And the only way to do that is, well, there's a few ways to do that, but the only way that I'm going to show uh, for the Dahua product is to use their own app, and it is called Config Tool. And the shortcut looks like this. So you could go and download this. It's called Config Tool, and when you launch it, this is the window that you'll see. And it's got some settings and so forth. Now, when I do a search, Again, it's still not finding those cameras. And what we need to do, see this app, what it does is it allows you to change the IP address of the camera. So what I need to do now is to actually change my IP address. You see the IP address, the standard IP address on the NVR is sitting like, let's have a look. It's 10.1.1.71. So when I plug in the cameras, its home address is 10.1. And my network isn't a 10-1 network. So what I need to do is to go and get on the same range, because my cameras are actually on the 10-0-0 subnet, 
although it is an A subnet, it's still not going to find it. So what I've got to do is I've got to go and change my IP address right now. Whoops. And I'm just going to choose something random and say OK. Right. Now I will lose internet connectivity and all that stuff, but what I will now be able to achieve is I will now be in the same range as the cameras. So if I go to my config tool and I refresh it, I should be able to see those newly added cameras which are plugged directly into the power of Ethernet switch. I may need to change some settings here, but let's just wait and see. Ah, now it's asking me, search by IP domain. I know those cameras are 10 one, uh, on the 10 one dom, uh, IP range, so I'm going to just change that, and now I'm going to search, and voila, look at that. Suddenly, there are the eight cameras. You see, I have eight cameras connected to the power of Ethernet switch. And now we have found some of those missing cameras. And there, it gives you the model numbers, 1320. And I can see these are Dahua um, cameras. Now what this product does is it allows me to change the IP addresses manually. So if I have a look at this camera, for example, I can see, all right, this is going to be called whatever I want to call this. So I must note I must note it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an Excel spreadsheet and I'm actually going to, oh, sorry about that. I'm actually going to log the, the camera IP addresses. So when I add them, I will know, okay, what was 10.0.0. whatever I choose. So I have already created a naming convention here and I'm putting it on the 10.0.0 network. Okay, let's just recap. Just for those who are not following, from the top, this pro this video is to show you how to locate hidden, I don't want to say hidden, but cameras that are on your network which you are not able to find because you are not in the same IP address range. And the reason why this occurs is because the power of Ethernet switch does not automatically change the camera IP addresses as opposed to plugging them directly into the NVR. The NVR, when you plug them in, you will locate them. The software allows you to do that. But when you use the NV, uh, the power of that switch, it's not allowing that. So what happens is we need to use a special tool called config tool supplied by Dahua to locate the additional cameras. So here are the additional cameras which are connected to the PoE switch. Now why I'm doing this is I need to swap the IP addresses. This camera, for example, says its IP address is 10.1.0.68. That's not going to work for me if it's plugged on the PoE switch. I need to change this IP address to maybe 10.0.0.68 instead of 10.1.0.68. And why am I doing this is because my home network or the network where I'm setting this up is on the 10.0.0 range. This means that if you are setting your cameras up, maybe you're choosing 192.168, um, you will then you'll then have to change the default IP address from the of the camera to the IP address range that you are working in. Well, now you'll be changing this IP address to now 192.168, but you can only access the camera if you have changed your IP address on your machine. See, I'm doing this on my computer, so I have changed my IP address to the 10.1 because I know that those cameras, when they entered onto the network by being plugged into the PoE switch, they were defaulting to the 10.1 network. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I've located, I've changed my IP address, I've located the cameras. I'm now going to convert them to the 10.0.0 uh, IP range. And then once they are all on that range, I will no longer see them here because now I'm on the 10.1 range and the cameras are on the 10.0.0 range. And therefore, I will go back and then change my IP address back to where I was, 10.0.0, whatever my um, host number was. Okay. Excuse me. So let's start changing these IP addresses. And while I do that, I would like to 
just check that the cameras which I've just added to the system is um, are displaying properly. Let's have a look. Right, that one is working. Great, that is a brand new camera that I've just installed and now I can see that is working. So what I'm going to do is I will then, its old IP address was 101072 and I want to change it now. So I'm going to say 10, where am I on my list? Okay, this will be now lounge and I want it to be 10.0.0. I'm sorry, Excel is using commas instead of a dot, but it's fine. And I'm going to say 72. And let's change this to 10.072. And the gateway will be 0, 02. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. As soon as I save it, I'll, this camera will disappear. But when it comes up on the NVR as 10.0.0.72, I know that it is the lounge camera. Okay, there we go. Save successfully. Return. Now we can see if I refresh this, we should have fewer cameras. One is missing because I'm no longer on that same IP range. Right. Let's have a look at this one. Oh yes, we already looked at that one. Right, now I'm going to go back and check for any devices that are on my domain that I have not um, 
uh, on my IP range that I have not seen. Just want to see past devices. Right. Now, this is the one that I had just changed. Now, what I've done is I put my IP address back to the same range that I should have the um, uh, camera that I have just changed. Remember that I changed this one. Now you can actually see it. It's sitting at 10.0.0.52. Remember, I just did this. So now there is the camera. So that is working. No problem. Next one. Yes, we did this one as well. Uh, let's check. 72. There we go. 72. Right, we did that one as well. Okay, 62. Is that still right? Yes, that's correct. And this one we also changed. So there we go. I added those cameras. I've now changed the IP address. And you can see that they are now connected to the... Um, uh, they're now connected and they'll come up here as well when I do the device search. Right, so just to go through this, the IP addresses that are shown here are showing me there are two different range of IP addresses. I have 10.0.0 range and the 10.1 range. Now, this may be confusing because you might be wondering, well, why didn't I just change the IP address of the NVR? Because these are the directly connected cameras to the NVR. And how I know that is if you look here in this column, it says port. And there it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you, you can see that this point here, 6, is connected on the NVR itself. Remember I showed you in the earlier video of the 8 Ethernet cables that were plugged directly into the NVR. So these are them. And note what the NVR does. It it allows this IP address on 10.1, 10.1, And I, I don't change, I've tried to change that, but you might be wondering, well, why does it get this IP address? I'm not sure. And you might be wondering why I haven't changed the IP address of the NVR. Well, actually I did. The default IP address of my NVR is 10.0.0.0. So it doesn't seem to... Uh, auto config the cameras i know that when i initially installed this nvr it was the default up address of the nvr was 10 1 something something so maybe it's still got that configuration from then but just to uh, explain to you is that these are the ones here you see it says port 3 quadruple 7 these are the ones that are connected on the um a poe switch and maybe we can just do a device search because I know there are eight that should be on the PoE switch. I can actually just delete these and then add them. Right, so I located them here and I just ticked them off here and I added them. Now, you can see these are the ones that are connected through the PoE switch. And uh, they're currently they're not online at the moment. They'll come online shortly. Now, these are the IP addresses that we've just changed. So that's what that means. Now, I will put the link to the software on the, uh, in below on my YouTube video. If it's not there, it means that the providers have told, given me a cease and desist or told me I'm not allowed to uh, disseminate their software. So if it's not there, then there's nothing I can do. It means I've been told that, that you know, I'm not allowed to send that uh, publicly. Okay, so now what you'll do is you will uh, just change the camera names and the recording times. And that's, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.